Today, we gather in the presence of God to give thanks for the gift of marriage, to surround Howard and Jamal with our prayers, and to ask God's blessing upon them so that they may be strengthened for their life together and nurtured in their love for God. I know that both of you have been anticipating this day for a very long time, and now the day is here. This is just a magnificent place um, for us to hold this. It really serves as a backdrop to the act of creation that we are privileged to, to witness today, the union of Howard and Jonga. Pages and pages and pages of drawings. Every one of us here needs to acknowledge that today is really only the start of your journey together. Despite this strong and beautiful beginning, we realize that marriage is a lifelong journey that is filled with all sorts of difficulties and challenges. But the good news is that your life together can actually grow, grow in love, grow in joy, and actually grow in faith even despite these challenges. Let us draw inspiration from this wedding venue and realize that some things that are of old can be absolutely life-giving in our modern times. This passage from Ecclesiastes reveals to us a fundamental truth about Christian marriage, albeit subtly. If you notice, the passage is nearly all about the benefits of being a couple, a pair. But the last stanza speaks of a cord of three strands. Now the question is, why mention three when all along you've been focused on two? The fact is that there cannot be a cord made of two strands. What I want to tell you is that God is in this marriage. God is the author of this marriage, and God is with you. A fundamental conviction of the Judeo-Christian faith is that marriage was something designed and created by God. Not just marriage as an institution, but also that God is the creator of each marriage among His people. And you got to think about that. The hope offered to Christ-centered couples is that Christ becomes the anchor of your journey together. That in fact, every twist and turn of life, if Christ is your center, can make you even stronger, draw you even closer. Two are better than one. But if two should ever hope to become one, then the presence of Christ is an absolute necessity. May your marriage always have him as your anchor. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> I, Howard. I, Howard. Take you, Chang'e. Take you, Chang'e. To be my wife. To be my wife. And I promise. And I promise. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving. To be your loving. And faithful husband. And faithful husband. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I Chang'e. I Chang'e. Take you, Howard. Take you, Howard. To be my husband. To be my husband. And I promise. And I promise. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving. To be your loving. And faithful wife. And faithful wife. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. And in joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. And in sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. As a sign of our constant faith. 
as a sign of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. I receive this ring. As a sign of our covenant. As a sign of our covenant. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. This ring I give you as a sign of our constant faith. As a sign of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. I receive this ring as a sign of our covenant. As a sign of our covenant. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, look with favor upon Howard and Jonah. Give them wisdom and devotion in their common life and make their life together a sign of Christ's love. In Jesus Christ's name. have made their solemn vows to each other. Therefore, I proclaim that they are now husband and wife. Howard, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you for the very first time, Mr. Howard and Mrs. Chang'a Lo. JC, it's been a pleasure getting to know you and your bubbly, carefree, and friendly personality. For those that don't know Howard well, I'd like to give you guys a little insight on him. Under the tough exterior, Howard has a soft side to him. He absolutely loves their little dog, Benji, who they are still trying to train. We felt something, we felt something. All joking aside, Howard, thank you for being such a great friend throughout the past 18 years. In closing, as with most best man speeches, I'd like to leave you with a famous quote. I thought about using something from Shakespeare or perhaps Mark Twain, but this one really stood out to me and seemed most fitting for the night. The great Howard Lowe with a straight face once said to me man dan korean girls love me it was so cold it was so cold you held my hand i'm not much of a mushy person but changa is not only my best friend but a true sister to me who has always had my back changa i'm so happy that you have found your mr right I know that you'll be great to him as you were to me for the past 23 years of my life, too. Howard, you lucky guy, you just hit the jackpot. Please know that. Thank you. I'm so happy for the both of you as you start your new life together. May the future hold many happy moments and always remember that you guys are partners for life and work as a team through all the ups and downs that may be thrown your way. Love you to pieces, Chang'e.